Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm transforming this build and making it a lot cheaper. Specifically half as cheap. I do that a lot. It's like a series on my channel where I just use old builds of mine and make them cheaper and usually it's half as cheap. Sometimes I even manage to make it into a starter home. In this case I didn't. Uh, it wasn't really feasible, it was way too expensive from the get-go, so I didn't really bother. But yeah, I usually achieve that with just making it a little bit smaller or deleting some things. And here you can see me deleting like ho the whole seating area that I had outside. I decided that it wasn't really necessary and it took up space that I didn't really have anymore, so I decided that it could just go. And I also like did the whole fence in like the side of it, the green fence. I kept it, made it shorter so it fits better. I also deleted, like straight up deleted the hot tub. It's one of the more expensive items and I thought it wasn't really necessary. So I decided to get rid of it because that saves a lot of money. And then I went inside because I had like the most expensive things that I had going on outside already deleted. So I went inside and looked at those things, for example the stove and the um, fridge. Those are always or can be more expensive. It depends on what I had used while I was building it before. And of course also the TV and the computer, so yeah, those electronics and appliances are always kind of, yeah, expensive. And I decided that I can live with less expensive versions of those. I also decided that I would make the bedroom a little bit different because the bed is a little bit more expensive than the one that I um, that I have now. So I ex exchanged the bed and that meant that the color scheme is a little bit different. So I decided to just make it a little less like out there because as you can see it's a l really pink build and really intense and that's because I based it on the painting that you see in the living room on that one wall. It's one of the paintings that the Sims can actually paint if they so choose or if you force them to and yeah I thought that was a really neat idea to actually use that painting as the inspiration for the whole house and th yeah that's what I did and it resulted in quite a colorful and like really out there house I think and that's really cool but at the same time you can tone it down a little bit if you think it's a little bit too much and honestly I wouldn't want to live there in like not the previous version and also not in this one because it's still a little bit, little bit too much for me. But I think in a sense it's fun to just try different things and I really wanted to challenge myself to actually like recreate the painting as close as possible. So it's not only like the colors of the painting that I actually recreated but also the shape. So if you look from above of that of the house you can see the blocky shapes that are in the painting that yeah I recreated and I think it re looks really like similar or you can at least see the inspiration that I had yeah and now I'm back outside because I realized that I could delete some more things outside I just didn't have quite enough money saved yet so yeah then I always go back to things that I already looked at and search for things that I can delete as well. And here I'm back inside in the bathroom. I decided to get rid of the shower because I already had the bathtub and yeah, it's sometimes a good idea to just limit the things that you have and get rid of them straight up. And then I did like the walkway to the back and then I realized that I actually had enough saved, as you can see here. It was 66,000 and some change and I managed to get it down to 32,000. 
Now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!